All right, welcome back, guys. Uh, so one question I've been getting a lot lately is I have the accelerometer enabled, and I fly in angle and horizon flight modes. But for some reason, my multirotor keeps drifting to one side. Obviously, a lot of you have already gone to the main screen in beta flight or clean flight and clicked the calibrate accelerometer button. If you haven't, then definitely do that. But you can actually fine-tune the accelerometer using stick commands. I'll flash a picture on your screen of the stick commands. This is definitely something you want to try to memorize, uh, at least all the ones that you would actually use. So first let's understand how to save. It's going to be throttle, throttle low, pitch low, and then roll high, yaw low, which is going to be something like this. If you use the tra traditional sticks, meaning throttle, yaw, pitch, and roll. Now with that out of the way, let's talk about how to actually change the trim on the accelerometer. For all of these, the throttle is going to be high. And then this is like, if you hold this in one place, if you look on your flight controller, the red status light or whatever color it may be, the status light is going to blink once every, or I'd say like twice a second, something like that. Every time that light blinks, think of it as moving one space. We're just, I'm just going to say spaces. That's, that's going to be the term used here. So you're making one change every time that light blinks. I'm actually going to give you a demonstration of how this is done in just a second. I'm just walking you through this right now while it's still quiet. But say your multi-rotor is drifting forward. Then I will have my throttle high and then actually put this pitch stick high. And then hold it there for a few seconds. I'm going to let the light blink. It depends on how bad it is, but I would start off, you know, five to maybe even ten LED blinks. And then it's going to be the same thing. If your multi rotor is drifting to the left, then I will do uh, throttle high and then roll to the left. And so on, so on. You get the idea. So let's go ahead and give this a shot. Oh, and by the way, do this outside. Seriously, just go outside and do it outside. I'm a risk taker. I acknowledge there is a risk, but I accept that risk because you see that window right there? If I take this multi rotor outside of that door and the lady above me hears prop spin up, she's calling the cops for the fifth time. We're already up to four. I'm not trying to make it five. And I live in a city, so it's either do it right here inside my living room, or I have to drive like 15 minutes down the road. And that's not going to happen because I gotta, I gotta go to school. So if you want this video, then just do it outside. Alright, let's give it a shot. Alright, so it's drifting to the right. So what I will do with the multi-rotor still powered on, disarm, hold the throttle up, and hold this to the right. And you guys can't see that red LED, but it is blinking. And after it blinks about 10 times, I'm going to stop and then save. Once you save, the LED of your status light will blink a couple times letting you know that it's saved. And let's try again. Okay, so it looks like I went too far to the right or I held it down too long so I need to go back, startle up, go to the left, let it blink a few times, and then stop, save, and then try again. Okay, it's still going to the left just a little bit, so I'm going to... Fix that just a little bit, 
and it's also going a little backwards so I'm going to go trim it on the rear a little bit and then save Drifting to the right a little bit. Okay, that's going to be good enough for me. And that's basically it. I'm not going to sit here and try to get it absolutely perfect. You can get it better than that. Just know that you will always have drift. I mean, even if you do do it indoors and you have no wind indoors, but the second you go outside and there is a slight breeze, you're going to get drift. The only way to absolutely get rid of drift is if you actually build a GPS build, like you build a GPS uh, multi-rotor. And then it's using a combination of the barometer with the GPS satellites and a bunch of other things to help hold it in place. So that's going to do it for this one, guys. Hope you learned something new. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.